Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet. My name is Mary and today I'm not coming to you with a tutorial nor am I coming to you with a live but a good old-fashioned video blog that I have been doing in the past and I have just haven't done one um, recently and this one is a very different one too. <laughs> However, I will be showing you some of my gear as well, just for fun, why not, because it all relates to what you're about to see today. Now, uh, what is today all about? Well, today is all about channels, YouTube channels, yes, it's about my top 10 favourite channels, plus I'll be doing five gorgeous shout outs to new people who are out and about doing lots of wonderful things on YouTube here. Oh, we're all having fun crafting together and not everything is crochet related when it comes to shout outs so that's very interesting get excited have a little fun grab yourself a coffee or a tea and enjoy cheers guys by the way and let's get ready mmm ah my one sheet I'm allowed to have on my diet <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I recently joined the CSIRO diet here in Melbourne, Australia. And um, it's been three weeks. I've lost three kilos. Oh! <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. And um, I, I'm not really allowed to have that. Well, I am allowed to have coffee on the diet. You are. You're just not allowed to have it with a teaspoon of sugar and use fat milk. Mm. It's the only thing I break my diet for. <laughs> Everything else, I follow the rules like a loser I mean like a like a champion <laughs> what are we going to do today let's start off by saying uh, firstly thank you so much for joining me and thank you recently for our eight and a half thousand subscribers that we reached I think we're up to eight thousand six hundred but hey who's counting <laughs> and I just wanted to thank my subscribers for always being there for cheering me on and for those, those of you who don't cheer me on and say nasty things I thank you too because <laughs> you encourage me to keep going <laughs> you don't realize that every time you say something nasty woof, I go out and create something <laughs> And it's something new for the channel and my regulars love them and that's what counts and we have a few newbies who have joined us Welcome to the newbies this week. We have quite a lot of newbies joining us and we don't usually do vlogs It's something I used to do in the past a lot um, And whilst we're all you know stuck in our homes I thought I would add more crochet to the channel so that people can do things and create while they were at home but I thought, you know what, I haven't done a vlog in such a long time. This is the one to do. Because you guys have always asked me, who's your favourite YouTuber? Mm. It's not always crochet related, but today's video will be my top 10 crochet video people, if you will, um, or crafter video people. I do have a top 10 non-crochet related list, but that's, I'm going to leave that for another time. <laughs> I just want to tease you a little bit. It'll come then. It will come. Um, and for those of you who do know me, know me well, will know that I love to dance and a lot of those top 10 uh, YouTube channels that aren't crochet related will be dance or, you know, exercise related. So there you go. I do have a playlist on um, dance exercise video, uh, YouTube videos that I do here at home. Yes, I do. Oh. <laughs> You're thinking, what? Doesn't she just sit and crochet all day? Mm, yes, I used to. Not now. <laughs> Occasionally I get up and just dance around. Because my, my job with crochet um, is sedentary and it's completely sedentary. So the only way to move is to dance because I love dance. I'm an ex-ballroom dancer for those of you who are interested. Um, and so I hop on to YouTube channels here on YouTube Pick a dance group that I like and I'm dancing away with them around the kitchen and the lounge room. Occasionally a glass falls. Well, we don't worry about that. Um, not drop a plate, that sort of thing. <laughs> Let's get on with what we're doing today. Today's video is all about craft and crafter people. Now, crafter people, crafting people, you know what I mean. Let's start off with doing my top 10 favourite crafting crochet channels. And my number 10th channel that I like so much and that's 10th on the list it's not my very top channel but it's number 10 and it's in top 10 of I don't know 100 channels <laughs> so it's pretty good it's way up there um is on the hook by Jean now Jean oh she does lots of stuff let me put this down for a minute Jean does um she creates gorgeous I mean she does a lot of other things but she creates gorgeous tops and she has a stunning little figure to match what 
<laughs> so uh, the tops look amazing on her, but she does create them with sizes. So you can adjust the sizes to suit your body. She creates all other things, um, but that is what really sticks out to me. And what I do when I'm choosing my favorites, I always choose, say if I want to do tops, I'll, I'll look at Jean's work from on the hook. Say if I'm interested in beanies, I'll look at so-and-so's work. I won't actually stay with Jean for everything. I'll just go to Jean for what I like, um, that one thing that I like. I don't actually stick around to a lot. I don't stick to them like glue. But I go back to them all the time. And what I love a lot about Jean, being musically inclined and dance and ex-dancer and everything, she has a gorgeous grand piano in the background. <laughs> I couldn't help. My eyes just... <laughs> stay glued to the screen when she's talking because I'm looking at her and I'm going like this I know that's not gonna work I'm not gonna be able to see behind her and occasionally she'll move her head and you can just see this gorgeous grand piano sticking out I love it so much and Jean is a, a lovely lady so check her out don't forget guys all of the things I talk about today all of their links to their channels will be in the description box down below so don't forget about that so if you're interested in checking Jean out check down below the list of the names that I say now will be in the order of my most favorite up the top. But, you know, uh, my most favorite hasn't come yet because that's going to be number one. And we are still on 10, but we are moving on. <laughs> Check out Jean. She's gorgeous. And number nine on my list is Melanie Ham. Now, Melanie Ham, let me tell you about Melanie Ham. A lot of people, they don't really know Melanie Ham, but a lot of people do, but a lot of people don't. And she's been around quite some time now on YouTube. So she's quite popular. Um, she, I, Why I like her is because she's young and fresh and has lots of wonderful, young, fresh, new ideas. And that is youth coming out in her. So that's what I like, Melanie Ham. Lots of youth, lots of fresh and very bubbly. Quite uh, like her, her, um, her persona is like a here I am kind of persona. Not, a, ah, not like that or anything, but sort of just fresh and fragrant. Fragrant? Can I use that word? <laughs> anyway, so that's number nine on my list. Number eight on my list is Bella Coco. Now, Bella Coco, a lot of people will confirm that they know Bella Coco and they love her work. Now, Bella Coco, the reason I like her is I like to call, I like to name, I know this sounds terrible, <laughs> but they're all good names at least. I like to name their channel. And I call Bella Coco's channel as an all-rounder, Meaning she will crochet just about anything and she does lots of um, uh, little patterns as well. So she might just pop up a little swatch, if you will, or a little piece of uh, a design or a stitch or a pattern. And then you head off on your own. You say, what can I make with that? I can make a beanie. I can make a top. Oh, I can make something weird and wonderful. But that's what I call uh, Bella Coco All Rounder. It's one of those things. I do. I name everything. I don't know if it's genetic, <laughs> but I name everything. It's terrible. But it's a good thing because it's good names. <laughs> Number seven on the list is Donna Wolf, Nastasia. Ah, Nastasia.com or Nastasia. I really don't know what she calls herself. I always hear her at the end of the video saying from Nastasia.com. That's why I say it, but it's actually Donna Wolf from Nastasia. Now, um, she is, oh, what can I say about Donna Wolf? Donna is fast and yet clear and precise. She is also, um, she uses a variety of items as well. She is very bright and bubbly. I really like Donna. I just, there is something about her that's just, it's quick, but it's not like me. <laughs> it's kind of quick to the point and clear. It's just perfect. She, her, the way she shows her tutorials is quite uh, precise if you will that's the word I can use plus recently she's been dabbling in lots of bright colors and we are talking really really bright mixed bright oranges and yellows and really beautiful colors and so you really need to go out and check Donna Wolf from the starts yeah and there you have it that's number seven now number six on my list my sixth top channel is let's have a look I know who it is, but I just want to have a look at all the information. It is Anu, by the way. Anu, she is the most beautiful, soft-speaking, gorgeous voice with a tinge of an accent there. I think it might be French, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> I don't know the accent. But she is gorgeous. She's got this beautiful smile. She's like a walking angel. I just love the elegance that she 
brings to her crochet to her craft she doesn't just do crochet she does other things as well but to me oh, I just melt when I listen to her and you know it's funny the first time I heard her, I thought oh, she's so softly speaking I wish she would talk louder but after you hear a few of her tutorials you get used to the sound and you make sure you're in a quiet room so that you can hear her I get very relaxed when I hear her, so mm, very interesting, isn't it? With Anu, she's made lots of tops and shawls and all sorts of wonderful things, and I've made two shawls from Anu's channel. I can't remember the name of them, but I can tell you what they look like. Uh, one was a normal shawl, a long one, and it had the sleeve holes, so you put your arms in as well, so your, your shawl doesn't fall off your shoulders. So I love that shawl, and it was beautiful and soft. She uh, did speak very softly in that video, so you really have to listen um, I found it easier to put in headphones when I was doing that tutorial. Once the headphones were on, perfect, um, but very softly speaking. So if you love that kind of talk, <laughs> she's the one to uh, watch. And she makes some beautiful, beautiful tops and other things. But I, once again, I look for what I look for at the time. So there you go. So number five on my list is, now, before I say this name, <laughs> you need to uh, really focus on this lady. Now, she is, hmm, what would I call Maya? Ma oh, Maya, by the way. <laughs> Her name is Maya Luna Corazon or Maya Lu Lana Corazon. I just call her Maya. Whenever I see her face come up on my feed, I have to check out what she makes because she creates gorgeous swimwear. Uh, well, swimwear... Uh, underclothing, crochet underclothing. Um, if you don't like that sort of stuff, don't go there. <laughs> but I tell you, she is gorgeous. She's stunning. She makes this, her name is, let me say her name again. See if I can say it right. Maya Luna Corazon. Maya Luna Corazon. I think that's how you say it. She's just beautiful. She makes a lot of bikini, uh, underclothing. Um, and when she tries them on, she has the gorgeous body to suit. So, mm, I don't know. I have looked at underclothing. I may consider it in the future. What? Everybody's saying, no, don't do it. I might, but I'm not going to try right now. <laughs> but again, like I said, when I see these people, I see them for what they make. So Maya makes these gorgeous swimwear. So I see her as a gorgeous swimwear model, if you will. She may not be. She may just be a crochet designer, just like me. But to me, when I see that, person I see them as their project which is just unusual right <laughs> I know right <laughs> so that is my number fifth favorite crochet channel oh on YouTube so now let's we're halfway guys we're halfway let's get on with number four now number four I know a lot of people know her very well um and uh think of her exactly as I do what have I got about her yarn hauls Bright, bubbly, infectious laugh. Mm, who might that be? <laughs> that might be the lovely Krista from Secret Yarnery. Ah, oh, <laughs> Krista is mm, bright, bubbly, fun. Her laugh is so infectious, if you will. When I hear her laugh, I just can't help myself but laugh too. But she crochets some gorgeous items. Um, she also crochets... Uh, small swatches as well, um, stitches if you will, granny squares, just a different way of joining a granny squares as well. I think you're chaining one and you're single crocheting, you're doing all sorts of weird things, or you're single crocheting, chaining one, whatever. Um, so she does lots of different things to what I do. So sometimes I like to see, uh, how do I explain it? I like to see the opposite to me. Does that make any sense? Which is not exactly the opposite, because she's loud like me. <laughs> We're rather loud. Um, but she's, um, oh, how do I explain it? Her crocheting is a little bit opposite than mine. And I love it. I love to see other people. I love to see what other people do and how they create. That's who I am. And that was number four on my list of favourite crochet crafting channels. Uh, so let's get on with number three. Number three. Uh, I cannot get past number three. Now, number three, I have to say... It is a male. And I've been watching him. I know what you're all going to say, but it's not him. Um, I've been watching him since I first started watching YouTube crochet channels, which is like 100 years ago. And before he became overly famous, <laughs> if you will. Have you worked out who he is yet? 
Mikey. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Mikey, Mikey has been around a very long time on uh, YouTube. Mikey has done... Hmm, Mikey did, for me, when I first started back to crochet years ago, what I needed to, hang on, how do I explain it? He did for me what I needed to boost myself to go forward. I know that sounds weird. Listening to him made me say, yes, I can still do this. I just don't have a channel, but I can do this. I'm a designer. I know what I'm doing. I do this. I've done some sewing. I've done some crochet. I've done some knitting. Ooh, achoo, sneeze. I'm allergic to it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> allergic to knitting uh, so is uh guy guy's allergic to knitting you'll work that out when you see our future video by the way <laughs> i'll talk to you about that later um guy is this thing here by the way <laughs> we'll talk about guy later um but mikey did for me what i knew i could always do but never took the plunge to do it so even though mikey is in a different area he's still in crochet and he does lots of knitting and crafting and so on but he's in a different area of that crochet crafting youtube thing right now um you know this is before he got sponsored so there you go i still love him i still love him if i see him come up i do head over and just watch it not because i want to see the project just because i want to hear what mikey has to say and how he goes about creating and he's just a relaxed person to listen to and that's that that's oh it's not bad that's only number three <laughs> we've got two more to go now my second top second top favorite channel <laughs> favorite crochet channel here on well crochet for me <laughs> i'm just trying to stall um <laughs> i'm stalling because i have to look at the book and remember why he's my favorite top but you guys already know because we did the recent blanket that he allowed us to create i think some of my regulars have already worked out who that is and that is the wonderful fiber spider and he is number two on my list everybody's thinking what He's not number one. It's going down. <laughs> Everybody thought he'd be number one, didn't you? Oh, I know you did. Well, my regulars did. My newbies will think, oh, I didn't know he was going to be number one. <laughs> He's number two on my list. He's number two. And he is, oh, what can I say about Fibre Spider? Mm, I don't already say when I talk about the <laughs> Kaleidoscope Blanket. We made a Kaleidoscope Blanket recently, guys. If you have not seen our Kaleidoscope Blanket, I will leave that link in the description box down below everything that i took about of our of our products here today those links will be first then you'll see the top 10 um favorite crochet <laughs> channels and then you'll see the shout out and i will have a link for each one of these things in the description box down below now let me tell you about fiber spider i've been watching fiber spider for quite some time i don't even know how long three five years i can't remember um but three years ago he did the kaleidoscope blanket i made two since i was just so taken back by this blanket i love it so much it turned the basic granny stitch into a gorgeous colorful bright blanket and let me show you why I hope you like it now we created this here on the channel if you are interested in the kaleidoscope blanket i will pop the link to the playlist in the description box down below and we had to get the okay from fiber spider to cre recreate his video of the kaleidoscope blanket and um the lovely franca one of our subscribers she was the first one to uh, have a chat with him i tried talking uh, sending a private message on Facebook. He doesn't get on Facebook very often, so he may not have seen that message. But um, Franca got a hold of him and she asked for us. And I checked out that message and I went and thanked him for it. So there you go. Very happy about that. And I will pop a link to our kaleidoscope blanket way up the top of um, the inner description box down below. And on the underneath Fibre Spider's name, I will also pop his version of the blanket as well so you've got both of them so there you go you could do anyone's version and i don't mind sharing because fiber spider has been a part of my crochet life for quite some time now which is the reason why he's number two top two on the list <laughs> but i have a top one i have a favorite my very favorite crochet channel and you're thinking we have never heard you speak of her and the reason i don't is because i wanted to keep her all to myself i was being very crochet jealous <laughs> but i shouldn't be jealous should i no because especially this lovely lady because you know uh, 
There are some people that get on YouTube and you can see how fake they are. And you think, oh, fake, 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 fake. But not her. She, there is nothing fake about this woman. She, what you see is what you get. She crochets, she does giveaways, she does yarn reviews, she does so much. But what in, intrigues me a lot about her is that from day one that she got on to now, which is many, many years later, she has not changed her personality. And that shows, I'm not fake, <laughs> which is why I like her a lot, because not only does she create gorgeous projects, but she creates them with personality. <laughs> personality true and she creates them with love and to me that is where I come across with my crochet I like to bring across the love part of it all I know it sounds weird but that's how I am and that is how this woman is and let me tell you her name and let's talk a bit about her it is the lovely <laughs> I'm not gonna say it shall I keep it to myself because I'm really jealous I don't want anyone to know her but you all know her I'm sure you do it's the lovely bag o day and you know how I say I name everybody's channel for myself? I've called her Keeping It Real because she is just a keeping it real kind of gal. She will look after the crafting, the crochet. She will be down to earth and friendly and bubbly and bouncy. Um, and that's it. <laughs> that's all I want to say about her. Um, but I have followed her for numerous years. And we're talking way back when I first started following Mikey. My, the next person I started following was her and then came uh, Fibre Spider and then the rest just came along as you do. So my very top favourite YouTube channel for crochet is Bag O'Day. Ah, and her name, by the way, is Chris, is it Crystal? I'm sorry, Crystal. You know, I've got too many Crystals and Crystals here. <laughs> she's a Crystal. No, she's a crystal and Secret Yana is a crystal and I get them mixed up, but I do know them. So there you go, guys. That is my top 10 favorite crochet YouTube channels. Ah, now don't go away <laughs> because we're going to get on with shout outs. Why? Why not? Alrighty, guys. So today I'm doing five shout outs. Ah, five shout outs. Very good. Very good. I'm not going to talk too much. We're just going to get on with it. What? She's not going to talk too much. I'll see. I've done it again. I get so sidetracked, don't I? <laughs> so, guys, my very first. Now, there's no order in this, by the way. It's not like my top ten. This is just shout outs. Okay, there's no favoritism here. I love them all. And I love them all in, again, different ways. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But anyway, um, the lovely Dana and her husband, Joe, from Triple C and J Show. They are simply gorgeous wife and husband husband and wife tea whatever you want to call it um oh gosh they work well together they just they're beautiful i want to get up from melbourne australia catch a plane go all the way to america <laughs> i think they're in america <laughs> i think they are um get off the plane run to their house and just give them a group hug because that's how i feel when i listen to the lovely dana and her husband from the triple j <laughs> Well, it's a triple C and Joe show. Uh, they're just beautiful together. They work well together. What a perfect husband and wife team, really. Um, uh, her husband also creates and, and makes crochet uh, hooks. He makes, I think, uh, the ceramic kind. I'm not sure, but I know he makes hooks, but I don't know what it is. I think it's ceramic. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out and find out. Um, because I'm not interested in the hooks, I don't, you know, look at them. I'm more interested in just listening to them because... Just listening to them makes me relax. It just relaxes me. I know. I just want to give them a hug all the way from Australia. So there you go. Check her out. Again, guys, no matter what I talk about today, links to all these people will be in the description box down below. Click on their links and check them out. You will love them. <laughs> and so that's the lovely Dana. And the next one, mm, well, she's, well, she's just someone who I like to call my little stalker. <laughs> her name is Suzanne. She actually was, and get this, she was our subscriber of the year last year. Now, her channel is called God Crochet and Create. Now, she won subscriber of the year for Wow Crochet last year. On New Year's Eve, every year, starting from last year and onwards, I do a massive, massive giveaway. Only one person can win it. What? You don't have to answer any questions. You just have to be that one subscriber who just does not leave me alone. 
And I have two so far, and I don't know who to choose from at the end of the year. I had three, but two really are in my face, and I don't know how to choose between them. I may even have to split the price in the middle because I can't choose between the pair of them. All right, so check her out. She's absolutely lovely, and I, yeah, my number one stalker from 2019. <laughs> so go check out Suzanne from God Crochet and Create. Now, next on our shout out list is the lovely Angela, another one of my stalkers. <laughs> They're good stalkers, it's all right. Now, Angela is from Ghost Hacker with Scottish Basil. Unusual name. You know, I always get it wrong, but I had to look now because I always get it wrong. But Angela is everywhere I am from Facebook to Instagram. She's just like all over the place and she's on all our lives or most of them anyway, the ones that she can make. And look, she's just lovely. She leaves messages all over the place and sometimes I feel bad because I can't get back to her. Angela, I can't get back to you all the time. So don't be sad if I don't get back to you. It just means I'm totally, totally busy. So there you go. But go and check out her channel, Ghost Hacker with Scottish Basil. There you go. Now, the next on our list is... And you will see this lovely lady on our channel often as well. And her name is Tori. Tori does Paulie's Crochet Creations here on YouTube. She's just fresh and new here on YouTube. Please go over and support the lovely Tori from Paulie's Crochet Creations. Ah. And finally, last but not least, very not least, and the reason I've kept this one to last is I just love the name. The name, I always think of her name when I purchase yarn because, not because she told me to purchase that yarn, but because her name is, and I want to say it right, so let's have a look at it, say it with squishy yarn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's cute. She um she just started up her channel this year and she's creating her yarn room or a craft room as we speak and every now and then she'll pop up a little video of the yarn that she has purchased and how she's setting it all up in her uh, shelving, a bit like that sort of thing, probably neat of the mind. <laughs> A little bit everyone's needed to mind i can get so messy sometimes don't tell anyone um but say it with squishy yarn is fresh and fragrant and she um i believe is doing some yarn reviews as we speak as well so check her out because hey we're here to spread the good news about craft and crochet don't hoarder it all to yourself like i was with bag o day get it out there and tell everybody about everybody because this is what we're here for to craft and create Alrighty, guys now i just wanted to tell you something very quickly that i hope you'll be happy with and i know i'm happy to do so this is all very exciting um and it's something different for our channel we used to do um, quite a few different video vlogs or video blogs if you will and we're going to do it again what <laughs> but not as many as we did we'll only do one vlog a month the first Thursday of every month will be a video vlog ah get excited guys because it's all happening we are video vlogging or blogging the first Thursday of every month why because I can and why and why again because there are some things that you would like to talk to me about can't and would like to send me messages and what I do with those messages now is I write them down not all messages not things that says oh you know the weather's nice up here I don't write that down <laughs> I just say oh boy the weather's nice um, what I do want to write down is any questions that you may have about wow crochet what we've done in the past, why we don't do it anymore, what we're doing now, and what we're going to do in the future. Get excited. The future's got some fantastic things happening. I'm starting to shake thinking about it. Oh. Um, and one of them is um, just basic crochet. As you know, we've done so much crochet in the past. We're never going to change in that area. There will always be crochet on this channel. But it won't always be me. <gasps> what? Shock, horror. <laughs> because you know whenever I do interviews I ask that person from the interview to crochet me a little something if they're crocheters or to show me their yarn if they are a yarn company or to maybe knit something a chew I'm allergic to the word <laughs> sorry <laughs> that wasn't a real sneeze 
<laughs> I'm allergic to that word and so is Guy. You're going to see a little skit this weekend. I've decided not to wait. I've decided to pop it up on Sunday because I just laugh looking at it and I so want you to see it. It has no crochet in it whatsoever, but it's a whole lot of silliness come from myself and my three other sisters. What? <gasps> what? Yeah. Four of us crazy chicks together doing a little video, fun little video of nothing just for you. <laughs> and occasionally the four of us get together and we get a little bit loopy and that day was not different. That day we got together and we just lost the plot and I just, it was all ad lib. We didn't Plan it. We just said, you know, you sit there and crochet and you do this and I'll do that and you do this and we'll see what comes of it. And what came of it was just non-stop hilarity, if that's a word, if you will. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy that. That's coming this Sunday. I was going to hold it out till next Thursday, but next Thursday we've got something else coming and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But that's coming this Sunday. Get ready for a little bit of fun, a little bit of silliness. I know, right? Alrighty, guys, just briefly, I'm going to talk about what's happening today week. What? It's very exciting. Something we've been waiting for a long time on this channel, and that is Mary's couch cushion. Ah! Yay! This is some of the yarn I'll be using. I'll show you all the yarn in a moment, but check out our mood pillow that we've already created here on the channel in the past. And this one here has two sides to it there and there and I call it the mood pillow and I was actually taken back by one of our subscribers on our live the other day who actually remembered the name of the pillow I give him credit there so the one we are making this week is not a pillow it is a cushion for my couch so Mary's couch cushion if you will we haven't named it yet ah uh... <laughs> so now I dropped this yarn when I was talking to you then so the yarn we are using for that is I'll take it out of the bag how's that I'll get you all excited for next week um i don't want to say too much because next week's going to be the full vlog but that's the yarn we're using it's fiddlesticks yarn superb eight it is an anti-pilling yarn i thought i would try it out robin from unwind craft cafe said check out the anti-pilling yarn trust me you'll love it she says so mm, let's check it out let's try it hopefully i like it but you know what it's anti-pilling so i think i'm gonna like it mm. okay so there you go that's some yarn i'm not going to show you all the yarn i'll just do you a quick just a quick flash of the yarn. I'm not even going to take them out of the bags because Thursday I want to show you properly. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to show you properly on Thursday. There's a black and a charcoal in there. You can't tell in the bags. And there's different colours here as well. I will show you properly on Thursday. Um, just, that's a bit of a teaser there, guys. <laughs> it's a little bit of a teaser. So the start of that cushion is coming this Thursday week. Ah, oh, get excited, guys. We get to choose our colours, we get to choose our pattern. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. <laughs> um, see how excited I get? Um, I can't help myself. Uh, so that's happening Thursday week. But get this. The Thursday after that and every first Thursday of every month, there will be a video vlog. And in that video vlog, you're going to get my top 10 or whatever's. <laughs> you're thinking, what? what are you talking about now? I am actually, the very next top 10 I do will be my top 10 favourite projects that I've crocheted here on YouTube for this year alone. <laughs> I have so many favourites. Um, and that's coming up in two weeks' time or two Thursdays' time get excited and then after that it'll be the first thursday of every month where i do things like this in these videos that i do if you have a question for me or you want to shout out to your channel please by all means message me privately on facebook privately on instagram wherever you want to message me you can pop over to my madeit.com.au store whatever i will pop links to those in the description box down below as well so you can click on those links send me a little message and Tell me or ask me, don't tell me because I'll get sad and cry. <laughs> ask me what you need to ask me. Let me know if you want a shout out to your channel. And on the first Thursday of every month, I will do some shout outs along with answering some questions that you have about crochet, about the yarn I used on certain projects, about yarn that we could use that is not exactly the same as what I use, but you want to make exactly what I create. So really 
it's all about a question and answer time on the first Thursday of every month. Guys, this is new to Well Crochet. We did have video blogs or vlogs, if you will, um, six or seven months ago. I had to stop that um, only because there were so many people at home and I wanted to keep them busy with crochet projects and help them create and give their mind off what is going on in the world at the moment. <laughs> but right now, I think it's time to bring back at least one of those vlogs and usually I had um, different different things on different first first days of every month but from now on we're only going to do the first Thursday of every month as a video vlog every other Thursdays you'll be getting tutorials I will never stop doing tutorials you will always get tutorials whether they are crochet items whether they are swatches whether they are learning new stitches you will always get tutorials here on Wow Crochet so thank you so much for joining me today at Wow Crochet and listening to my top 10 favourite crochet crafting YouTube channels and also listening to the shout outs because it's really important to do the shout outs to spread the crochet crafting knitting achu. I'm still allergic to that word. <laughs> love. We've got to share that love because, you know, this is why we're here. So <laughs> don't forget, guys, to join. I'm so naughty. Don't forget, guys, to join me on. I get sidetracked all the time. <laughs> join me on Wednesdays at 4 p.m. and Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. for our weekly lives. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. We're sometimes serious. We're mostly silly. Sometimes we're all three at once. Don't ask me how that works, but it works. So don't forget to join me there. And this Sunday, guys, Wow Crochet is stepping out of character and uploading a video. What? I hear you ask, what? What video? It is a different kind of video. <laughs> For those of you, it's still crochet related. It's always crochet related. For those of you who don't know this, my sisters and I, I have three other sisters and the four of us get together and we're like little chickens, you know, in the background. So all four of us will be on that video and it's happening on Sunday. Look, I wanted to hold it out for a couple of weeks, but I watched it the first time and I laughed my head off and I was there. I was part of the whole video, but I laughed when I saw it. The second time I watched it, I laughed even harder. So I thought, you know what? I'm not going to wait. It's going up Sunday. You guys are going to have something funny to laugh at on Sunday. And guess who's going to be a part of it? This guy. <laughs> right here guy his name is <laughs> he will be a part of that video he may also be a part of future videos as well why well why not <laughs> you've been watching mary this is well crochet <laughs> ciao for now